welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tuesday, this is The Crafty Cottage, and I'm aware that this video is a little late, but today we're gonna be flipping through my 2023 bullet journal. This video is a little late because I have been super busy um, with work and I spent a lot of time going back and forth whether I even wanted to do um, a bullet journal this year or not. I really wanted to do one but after I had gotten all of my spread ideas put together and everything I only had a couple pages and I had this whole dilemma, but I finally decided to go ahead and do it, um, and we'll just figure out as, um, as time goes on. I've just got coffee today, um, in this adorable mug. I can't really show it to you. I'll do a side view of it. Um, I'll pop it up on the screen so that you can see how adorable this cup is. My mom got it for me for Christmas. Um, so I've got coffee with some French vanilla creamer in it. We actually have ice on the roads right now um, and I'm almost out of creamer so I could use a little more in there but I'm running out and I need it to last me a couple more days. And then for my candle today I have cinnamon or sugared snickerdoodle which is from Bath and Body Works. I got this for Christmas. Um, it is new. You guys have never seen it because I got it for Christmas but um, I have used it and it smells delicious. So let's go ahead and light this and get into this video. Alrighty so let's go ahead and get into the flip through. Um, I'm not setting it up in this video just because I didn't have time to sit down and actually video going through all of it. Um, so this is just going to be a flip through video. Um, the bullet journal itself is a paper studio brand bullet journal. Um, it's got dot pages. Uh, I don't know notebook sizes but it's like the generic size. Um, and the front says, make it happen, um, and like, reflective, um, and it's got an elastic band, um, and a ribbon. Let's go ahead and open it up. So I don't have anything on this first page. I thought about putting my name, but I just haven't figured out what I want to do here yet. So on the first page we actually just have the year and then I just picked two random colors um, and put stripes. I got this idea actually from Becca from Becca Books and Bujo. She did the same thing with purple and gray I want to say, I can't remember. But I meant to do yellow and gray and for some reason I grabbed green and so it's yellow and green now. But that's all right. I'm not in love with this page. I have considered just adhering these two together and turning this into my cover page, but I just haven't had a chance to do that yet. Um, and I'm trying to just like it and be okay with it. So as always in my bullet journals, on the first page on the left, I did the grid spacing cheat sheet, um, which is all over the internet, but I got this idea from um, Amanda Rach Lee, who, is like the queen of bullet journals. Um, but basically, if you've never seen one of these, it's the amount of spaces this way, the amount of spaces down, and then I've got the halfway point of each in red, the divided in thirds each way in blue, and then fourths in purple. Um, I thought about doing a little more with that, but figured it would be a waste because I don't know what I would need it for. Um, and then on this side we have year and pixels and like I said it's taken me a while to get to this video so it's already filled in a little bit. 
Um, I've just got some moods over here to um, fill in for whatever mood I was in that day. Um, about the 19th or somewhere around here is when I actually started my bullet journal. Um, so I didn't know what my mood was for any of those so I designated light gray to be unknown so if I take a break from bullet journaling and I don't know it's not just blank. So then on this side I've got my goals for the year. Um, I'm trying not to be too hard on myself with my goals because I tend to set goals and then not achieve them and that just makes me feel like an awful person. So my goals this year I've got read 15 books which I think is doable for me this year. And then I've got read 15 books of the Bible, which I already have two marked off and it's almost the end of January. Um, and then I have complete a reading challenge. I keep saying that I'm gonna do a reading challenge. And so I'm, I'm participating in a couple and hopefully I can complete at least one. Then I've got pray without ceasing. This is a goal that I have and I got the idea to make it a goal. Um, I think I've mentioned before that I have been trying to pray more often through like good times and bad times. Um, but Jenny over at Prayers and Penguins had this as a goal on her bullet journal and I thought that's a great idea. So I'm gonna have that goal too just because. Um, so then I have learn or play, learn to play really. Um, three scales on the saxophone and memorize 12 verses. So then on this page, this is new, um, but it's something that I really, really wanted to have and it's one of the main reasons that I decided to actually do my bullet journal and it's a migraine or headache tracker. Um, I get migraines all the time and I get headaches a lot um, and I really wanted to track when I got them, if I had symptoms, if I took medicine, um, and I think I've narrowed down most of my headaches to TMD, which I can never remember what it's called, so I will just flash what it's called on screen. So I think that causes a lot of my headaches, so I just wanted to track it. So on the side, if it's a headache, it's stripey, and if it's filled in, it's a migraine. And then I've got mild, moderate, severe, and they're the same color on both. It's just whether or not it's stripey. And then if I took medicine, if I took a nap, if I had my migraine symptoms, because I get weird symptoms whenever I start to get a migraine, um, and if I had jaw pain that uh, started it. So, so far this month I've only had three headaches, no migraines yet, so that's always good. So then on this page I have my books that I read uh, spread. Um, and I tried to be very minimal with it this year. Um, I turned it sideways so maybe I had more space um, this way instead um, but it's kind of like the one I had last year I've got different colors corresponding to different types of books so this teal kind of color is physical and then purple is audiobook pink is ebook and then it's very light orange is a combination of any of those I may have to add more if more books more book types come up but so far I haven't. I've only read one or I'm in the process of reading one. So then on this side I have my books of the Bible spread and it's just going to help me track what books I read from the Bible and it will help me with this goal here. In the past I have added the spread to each of my bullet journals and I would normally just come in and color the ones that I've already read but I think for this year I'm just going to color the ones that I read this year because um, I think it'll be cool to look back and be able to see what I read that year. So I'm excited for that. And currently I've got this color coded with this. So I read Romans first and then Song of Solomon. So then these next two spreads are actually just, they are printables that I printed out and glued in. So this one over here is the buzzword a hosted by Books and Lala. So right now we're in January and the buzzword is life or death or both. Um, have to be in the title of the book. And then on this side it is Roll to Read, which is a readathon that I found um, on the Literary Dispatcher's blog. Um, I'm not really sure how I found this or how I came across it, but I'm not mad about it. <laughs> so for this one you roll two d6s or two just six-sided dice 
and you kind of just move along the board. So my first roll, I rolled a seven, which is here, and it's a book that's won an award. Um, so I'll find a book that's won an award and put it here, and then for February, I'll roll again and then move X number of spaces. And then I've got two columns here in case I read a bunch of books. I'm not holding myself to read a bunch of books, but it could happen. Um, both of these are year-long readathons, so I've got plenty of time to participate in them. Then I've got another reading challenge here, um, and this one I found from Becca from Becca Books and Bujo. Um, it is just the A to Z challenge where you read a book with each letter. Um, I don't know where she found it, but I'm I'm doing it because I found it on her page. <laughs> Um, so then I've got my winter TBR written out um, for from my tea time TBR game. So if you haven't seen that video, I will link it up here for you to go check out, and it'll also be in the description. And then this is my last page for now, and this is my Bible Book Club page. If you've been following me for a while, you'll know that I have a group at my church where we're going through and reading the entire Bible. So I like to track that here. Um, I'll have the title and then how many chapters are in the book. So for January and February, because we met a little late in January from December, we're just combining January and February. We're reading Song of Solomon and Isaiah, so if you'd like to read along with us, you're more than welcome to. Uh, and I will bring up any points that anybody has at my meeting. And I don't have any more pages so far. I don't really know of any pages that could I could keep doing. I didn't want to do any planner spreads because I have, no joke, like six planners. And I don't use half of them, but I have them. I've got one for work. I've got two for work. And I've got one for home and school. And then I've just got some that are floating around. So I didn't want to also have a planner in here. Um, but I also don't do habit trackers or anything like that because I don't... It always ends up being a chore, and I don't want my bullet journal to be a chore. So, that's all the pages that I have. If anybody has any recommendations on pages that won't turn into a chore, that would be great that I might use. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when I post again. And hopefully I will be bringing you more content soon. You're welcome to watch any of my old bullet, bullet journal videos or any of my Tea Time TBR videos or really any of the videos that I have. If you have any recommendations, please let me know down in the comments and I will gladly get to those. And I will see you guys soon. Bye!